Good evening and thank you for joining us for Kremlin News at 6 tonight. I'm Mark Hanrahan. It's good to have you here. I'm Whitney Ward. The nation's largest Protestant denomination no longer allows women to hold any leadership positions within the church, including pastorship. Southern Baptist churches and worshipers across the country are reacting tonight, including right here in Spokane. Kremlin 2 Shannon Mowdy spoke with one pastor who grew up in the SBC who says she left to follow her own calling. Lauren Goldblum is a pastor on the South Hill, but not in the faith she grew up in. That's because even before this ban, she didn't see people like herself at the pulpit. Pastor Lauren Goldblum yes. thinks fondly of her time growing up in the Southern Baptist faith. They showed me a lot about gathering around the table and caring for my community. But she didn't see many, if any, women at the head of those tables. The affirmative has it and the motion carries. And in a vote Wednesday at the Southern Baptist Convention, 13,000 church representatives voted to officially ban women from leadership positions. It puts us all on the same page about what a pastor is and who a pastor is, a biblically qualified man. SBC upheld the expulsion of two churches with female pastors. This is a sad day for Southern Baptists because they are losing gifted and talented and called women of God. Women like Goldblum, who left Southern Baptist to follow her own calling to be a pastor. Her neighborhood church, Commonwealth, invites people from different faiths to do life together without denomination. The sad reality is that for women who feel a call to um, lead and pastor, um, there are churches where we're not invited or welcome to do so. Many of us are still saying yes to that calling, um, but it maybe has cost us in not being able to be part of the traditions that um, that we were earlier part of. While SBC leaders said men have the biblical authority to lead, Goldblum also looks to scripture. It's women who show up at the empty tomb and they're the ones who are sent to go and tell of the miracle that they've seen. Stories that inspire her to keep using her own voice, knowing it's not just the message, but who's speaking that inspires those listening. I hope that my younger sisters and my daughters um, will continue to hear more voices like mine. New York Times reports the SBC's decision opens up hundreds of other churches to investigations and possible expulsions. Shannon Mowdy, Krem 2 News.